Hey everyone and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up the pompons. In this video we have the three beautiful pompon sisters giving y'all some Halloween looks for the curly girl edition. So it is Halloween season, spooky season and I love playing around with orange, green and purple during the Halloween season. So I definitely incorporated these looks when trying to do the girls hair during this month. So I'm giving y'all four of my favorite ways to style their hair during spooky season season so before we go any further let me not forget to invite you to subscribe to our channel if you have not already if you are a returning subscriber hey bestie hope you are being blessed and safe as always let's go ahead and jump straight into this we have the beautiful Callista starting out first our youngest daughter so she has like uh, this curly wavy addition but her hair is very thin so I try not to do too much manipulation when it comes to her hair when styling Callista's fine curly hair, I tried to opt out for elastic bands instead of using uh, rubber bands. I choose to use lighter oils and leave-in conditioners rather than the heavier ones that I prefer to use on Kalia's thicker, curlier hair. So anything that's gonna weigh down her hair, I tend to stay away from. And I try to do styles that can be very versatile so I'm not constantly in her hair either. I'm going in with the Magic Collection Professional Conditioning Gel. I like to use this on the girls' edges when styling like small ponytails and stuff like this. It really sleeks down their edges and gives it this nice sheen to it and the hold is immaculate. And then it smells so freaking good. So I wanted to create like this spider weaving web kind of design. I've seen it a lot all over my TikTok and my Instagram. And what you're pretty much doing is uh, taking uh, at the base of whatever ponytails you're doing and taking those ponytails to create and connect each other to create this nice like web-like style so i'm doing hers off to the side because i kind of want to do like a side pony and it's super easy to do so like this is a quick five ten minute style and we're out to out the door i was debating whether or not to braid up her ponytail but i chose to let it just air dry so she can have her curls out and then to create that like spooky look to give that halloween theme i bought these dollar spiders from walmart and i decided they're rings so i decided to put them up you know going around the rubber band but then I thought about how much my toddler lo loves to roll around and I'm pretty sure she'll lose every last one of these spiders so then I opted out to cut off the ring part of the spider and I just took some hair glue and glued those onto her rubber band not her hair but onto the rubber band now of course some of the glue did get onto her hair but it is hair glue so it can be removed if you do it properly without you know trying to just snatch the spiders out of the head so this is a very safe glue as long as you read the instructions and you will have no problems you won't have no bald spots you won't you won't be cutting it out of your hair and all i usually do is just take some oil usually coconut oil and i kind of like lather it where that glue is and then take a fine tooth comb and just slowly start teasing it out of her hair and no hair loss whatsoever. So this is a finished look for Boo. We're about to move on to Kehlani. We're gonna do 2000 Kehlani because Lani, she just does not hold hairstyles. <laughs> she does not. So I recently pressed Lonnie's hair out. You know it's blowout season. So I definitely will be doing a lot of blowing out looks on Lonnie. I love Lonnie's hair when it's straight. It is just the prettiest to me. Her hair is like, oh, I love it. And then she doesn't experience as much frizziness as me and Kalia does during our blowout season. I'm totally jealous. So anyways, I'm going in first by creating this single part this row we have this half we're going to create like a half um design so we're just taking our elastic rubber bands and i create three small ponytails and we're going to crisscross these bad boys now i've definitely seen this look all over my instagram and tiktok so i wanted to incorporate this into our halloween looks as well by including those purple green and orange colors and we're also going to accessorize using those spiders that we did on calista And voila, there it is. We have 
two sets or of the crisscross design. Now I'm going to let her hair be free. I'm taking my wax stick. I usually use this for my lace frontals when I'm trying to get my flyaways to lay down. And, and I, I happen to use it on Lonnie when she, she has a lot of flyaways, especially when her hair is straightened. And honey, it worked magic. It worked magic. Gave her the hold that she needed without like gunking up her hair because sometimes those edge control gels can really, you know, cause a lot of like lint and stuff to get caught up in her hair. So I've opted out for that and it has been a game changer for me. Now we're moving on to uh, Kalia. So when Cal's hair is not in a protective style and I have to actually do her hair like almost every week, we are either doing a uh, twist out, braid out, or a wash and go. So I just did a braid out on her. We have a video going into further details on her braid out. If you would like to know the products and all that good stuff, the details on that, please click the link for that. It'll show up at the top of this video or in the description box. So for Kalia style, I wanted to create this low bun. I was like, had this picture of like the Frankenstein bride. I don't know why, but it just, I had this picture in my head and I just knew Kalia could slay this look. So what I'm doing is um, taking my time putting all this hair into a ponytail because Lord knows doing this in just one single ponytail, I would break as many hair ties, I, I would run out. I would run out of hair ties and then Kalia, we would just have none. We would just have no hair ties in the household whatsoever. So I have to break her hair down into three sections to get it into one ponytail. Yeah, that's how thick my child's hair is. So anyways, after we pull that all into a ponytail, I'm then gonna create this like low bun and all I'm doing is just like tucking and maneuvering and I secure it with a hair tie. I'm gonna go back and use some bobby pins as well so I can get the look and the shape that I want and then I'm taking some of that spiderweb stuff that people like to like slather all across their their house during Halloween decorations and I'm just applying just a little bit of that around her bun so we're gonna create like this spider nest I know right like isn't it don't do you see the visual I was going for the Frankenstein's bride right okay so I'm taking those same spider rings that we used throughout this entire tutorial and I'm just applying those randomly throughout the spider nest to create like this infestation in her hair. And at first I was gonna use all black, but I ended up using all the colors cause I just, you know, I just love that purple, green and orange color variation. And then this is what we have after. And I mean, I just feel like she needs to be like somebody's spooky bride at this point. Last but not least, we have Kehlani again. So we're doing a, another rubber band style to kind of like play off of what we did with the crisscross. So this time we're going to create a part going down the middle of her hair. As you can see, that blowout did not last long because Honey don't like to wear her shower cap when she gets in the shower. <sighs> the frustration so anyways we're gonna create a small triangle at the very beginning of these uh, two uh, pigtails that we just created so what I am doing is uh, pretty much making like a pyramid like that same weaving method that we did on Callista's that's pretty much what we're doing here so I'm going to create another second diagonal part and this time I'm going to create two small ponytails and I'm gonna split that top ponytail into two so they can feed into the two ponytails then on the next row we're gonna create guess what three ponytails and then we're gonna split the two and feed those into the three of course, I'm using my Halloween combo colors, purple, green, and orange to do this style. And then we're going to take all of this and put it into a ponytail. I was debating whether or not to uh, flat iron her hair again. Um, I, I've given up on that for today. So I just decided to put them into some Bantu knots, rolled them around in there and secured it with a rubber band. And boom, done. 10, 15 minute style, guys. Out the door, just like that. And that concludes our video on our Halloween hairstyles for this year. We will see y'all on another video. Don't forget to check out our other seven days of Halloween. We are doing seven straight days of Halloween themed tutorials, vlogs, and videos. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.